Taipu is the first hydropower plant to break the 100 terawatt hour mark. The Scottish Supreme Court rules in the Glendale project tunnel collapse. AFDB allots $100 million for a hydropower plant rehabilitation in Nigeria. And a 44-year veteran with Alaska Power and Telephone Company retires. Welcome to this edition of the Worldwide Hydro Headlines. I'm Gregory B. Poindexter, Associate Editor for Hydro Review and HRW Hydro Review Worldwide. After surpassing its own annual generation record earlier in December, Brazil's 14 gigawatt Itaipu hydroelectric plant closed 2016 by breaking the 100 terawatt hour mark. Itaipu's 103.09 terawatt hours of production eclipses the 98.8 terawatt hours set by China's 22.5 gigawatt Three Gorges project in 2014. Three Gorges in Itaipu have traded the record for annual production several times in recent years. Three Gorges established a record high 98.1 terawatt hours in 2012. Itaipu then broke Three Gorges record with 98.63 terawatt hours of production in 2013. In late December, the Court of Session, Scotland's Supreme Civil Court, ruled against utility, Scottish and Southern Electricity, in a dispute over the cause of a tunnel collapse. Scottish and Southern Electricity filed a $160 million claim against engineering contractor Hocktief Solutions AG over the collapse of a major tunnel in August 2009 at the 100 megawatt Glendo hydroelectric project in Scotland. The court held that Hocktief was not liable for the collapse, but it awarded $1.22 million to the utility to reflect the period during which the project was out of operation. The African Development Bank, AFDB, has approved a package worth $100 million for the rehabilitation and upgrade of Nigeria's 750-megawatt Kanji and 570-megawatt Heba hydropower projects. The plants have been operating below their potential, this according to the AFDB, with an available cumulative output of about 917 megawatts. The modernization project will see their combined output increase slightly from their nameplate capacities to around 1,338 megawatts. Bob Grimm, President and Chief Executive Officer of a small hydro project operator, Alaska Power and Telephone Company, is retiring after 44 years of service. Grimm, who prior to his tenure at the company, worked in the fish industry and came to AP&T in 1972 because, as he said, it was a bad fish year. Grimm became president of AP&T in 1984. Now, during his tenure, Grimm spearheaded the construction of four hydropower projects in southeast Alaska, three of which were certified by the Low Impact Hydro Institute. AP&T currently has two additional small hydro projects under construction, the 5 megawatt Hilange on Prince of Wales Island and the 1.5 megawatt Uruk Creek plant. Under Grimm's leadership, AP&T's energy portfolio went from 97% carbon-based to more than 70% renewables-based. Well, that's it for this week's edition of the Worldwide Hydro Headlines, brought to you by Hydro Consulting and Maintenance Services. Make sure you check us out on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And remember, we deliver hydro information at high capacity.